choosing the, right, the first line treatment for melanoma uh, uh, in first line is a really debated uh, question. In the last year, we had a lot of uh, new treatment, a new, very efficacy treatment. So uh, it's important to choose the right treatment for the right patient. Um, it's important to have some baseline information about our patient to categorize our patient into different prognosis group because uh, probably our aims change if we have a good prognosis or a bad prognosis patient. So it's important at the beginning to collect uh, uh, obviously a uh, very well uh, uh, radiologic evaluation in order to have uh, uh, um, awareness of the tumor burden, so the number of metastases of our patient, if the metastases are in a special organ like uh, brain metastasis. Um, it's important to have some uh, baseline uh, lab value like LDH value because LDH is a very important prognostic factor. It's important to have VRAF mutation, obviously, obtained from uh, metastasis of melanoma in order to divide our patient in BRAF mutant and uh, BRAF wild type melanoma patient. And it's important to have uh, um, awareness of the clinical condition of our patient because echo performance status is a real important prognostic factor. And if we have some comorbidities, uh, uh, probably this can help us to choose the right treatment. A uh, patient can be divided into a uh, different prognosis group. The um, good prognosis uh, group uh, in which uh, we have very low tumor burden, less than three metastasis uh, uh, signs, LDH, normal value, uh, and uh, a very um, a good performance status. And patient with a very uh, bad uh, prognosis in the opposite side, symptomatic, um, with uh, um, uh, 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 high uh, tumor burden, with a high number of uh, uh, metastasis signs, with high level of LDH. In this uh, last group of patients, our aim is not to obtain a long-term survival, but obtain a symptomatic relief. Uh, so uh, probably, if we have rough mutant patient with the, uh, belonging to this group, probably target therapy are the best treatment to offer this patient because we know from clinical phase three trial dedicated to uh, BRAF mutant patient that um, target therapies are able to offer rapid onset shrinkage tumor and if we, our aim is obtain a um, symptomatic relief rapid shrinkage probably is the best tool. For a BRAF mutant patient belonging to the first group uh, we know from clinical trial and pooled analysis of phase three trials dedicated to BRAF mutant uh, using mm, BRAF MAC inhibitors that also BRAF MAC inhibitors can offer for this special group a long-term survival. About 50% of, of overall survival after five years. So we can offer target therapies to this patient and with a high probability to offer them long-term survival. For BRAF mutants belonging to the intermediate stage and also to the uh, uh, good performance uh, uh, and good prognosis, uh, immunotherapy is another possibility and many uh, uh, centers of immunotherapy in first line. Why use immunotherapy in first line? Uh, because uh, immunotherapy can trigger an immunological memories that can last uh, also after stopping treatment and can uh, offer long-term survival, especially in good prognosis patients. But also, sometimes after BRAF MAC inhibitors, we have a rapid onset progression that can um, limit the efficacy of immunotherapy uh, uh, after progression. Uh, uh, so mm, this is a possibility and many centers offer, especially for intermediate state uh, or good prognosis. Obviously, for BRAF wild type, uh, uh, patient immunotherapy is uh, the first uh, choice and the only choice. Uh, BRAF uh, and MAC inhibitors are not a, uh, an option for this group of patients. In general, between immunotherapies, uh, uh, we have uh, the possibility also to use the combination of anti-PD-1 and anti-CTR4. In reality, not, not all European countries have this possibility uh, by now. Uh, 
we, uh, we saw from studies that uh, probably the um, immunocombos works better than uh, monotherapies, especially in a special population, baseline LDH elevated uh, brain metastasis. Uh, we must choose uh, uh, immunocombos, uh, being aware that it's a toxic treatment with a high incidence of uh, uh, immunorelated uh, toxicity. So uh, when we choose the treatment, uh, uh, we must be aware that patient is uh, uh, possibly fitting this treatment. But um, by now, uh, there's a great debate about this question, uh, and we are waiting for uh, translational research to offer us real, reliable, predictive factors uh, to choose the right treatment and to predict the response. And we are waiting for phase three trial that compare different sequencing be rough mac inhibitors first or immunotherapies first.